Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. This episode, U.S. Army Field Phone TA-312 slash PT. The next thing we're going to talk about is the uh, TA, TA-312. Everybody knows about this. TA-312 came out in the, uh, the 50s. They're actually in use the same time that the uh, TA-1s and the uh, E-8s were in use. Comes in this case like this, can either be operated in the case or taken out of the case. I'm going to take it out because it's a little bit easier to uh, to show you the stuff. It just comes right out like this. And that's it right there. Uh, go over it quickly. It's a metal case. This is the uh, hand crank, the magneto generator that you ring to send a ring to the other end. The handset right here. Uh, it's got a push to talk on it. This is the battery compartment right there. Oh, it's got batteries in it. Bad of me. Um, they just go opposite of each other. And it's a push to talk. Test one, two. You should hear side tone in your voice. This button right here actually controls the volume of the ringer, so you can actually turn it from anywhere from down to up, so that incoming ring is not quite as loud. Uh, this is used to select the operating mode of the phone. Right now we're setting local battery, which means we have to use batteries inside here. The other options are common battery and common battery switch. And what these buttons do, basically, they allow you to pull power from the, uh, the telephone switch, which you're probably not going to do because you don't have a, uh, we don't have a powered switch. Um, these two po points right here, these screws, allow you to hook a battery pack to it on the outside. If you have a 3-volt battery pack, you can hook it up on there to run it. These are unique because they had this right here that allowed you to connect either another headset or handset there so someone that, so you could be hands-free or another person could listen to what was going on with the call. This switch right here then decided whether the push to talk was going to be on the handset internally or if it was going to be on the uh, the headset somebody was wearing. Right now we have it set on internally. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we'll hook it up to the uh, TA-1. We'll make a few rings back and forth. These are pretty good phones. They're pretty rugged. Uh, most of the problems I've seen with them when I've had to repair them, including a couple of mine, is generally dry rot with the uh, the handset cord, and I've had to replace a few of the elements inside the handset. They're pretty easy. They just screw apart and put a new one in. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll we'll ring this way first. I'm going to turn up the max. Sometimes this will not put enough oomph into this to ring it. We'll see what happens. That one worked good. You can hear it. Um, the ring going back. As you know, it's not very loud. If we pick it up, test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Not as loud, and that's pretty much it. Um, they do make an add-on, some add-on features for this. One of the things they have is a, uh, it's actually a dial pad that locks onto it, so you could plug it into a dial phone switch and make phone calls with it. They also make some uh, warning and indicator light to make one indicator light that you put on it that if you leave the phone off hook, the light stays on, so you know. And there's another thing you can buy or get a hold of to put on here that uh, if you turn the speaker all the way down. You get an incoming call, the light will light. So anytime you get a ring, it lights. And uh, that's pretty much the TA-312.